Uh, yeah, and then and, and again, you know, uh, we we're we're going through some very challenging times. But again, as spiritual practitioners, it's not uh, what happens to us; it's how we uh, react to it and deal with it. Um, so you know, Raja uh, Chaudhary is uh, a Kala Tantric uh, and is Sri Vidya Guru, and he integrates uh, Kriya Yoga, Trika, and Kali Kula in his work. And he is a teacher on the Shift Network, and he has his own academy called A Thousand Sons. And I am a member of that academy, and he's a and he's my teacher. Um, he's also a filmmaker and a media producer. Uh, so. Um, yeah, and studies neurosciences, and he he combines a lot of different uh, spiritual practices together. Which he's a you know again a very uh, eclectic uh, teacher. And let me bring I'm going to spotlight you. Where are you? There you are. So it's a pleasure uh, seeing you, Roger. How are you? Good to be here with you. Yeah, on your channel so, for a change. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm used to seeing you on. So, uh, so tell us, Roger, what do what should we expect for 2022, and how do we, as spiritual practitioners, um, thrive in it? And I think first and foremost, we've got to learn to shut up and and just sit, because the vibrations are so hectic. So let's just sit for a moment. Let's just sit together and take a deep breath into your stomach. And chant the sound with me of I'm. 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 Recording in progress. I... I want you to imagine that you are a living vibratory being in alignment with energy, negative and positive, from all directions. But whatever you convert and transmute that energy into becomes your reality. So if you vibrate at a particular frequency, the world that you perceive, the world that you put your voice into, and the world that you create transmutes for you. This is the alchemical formula that the Rosicrucians did, that the Stoics understood, that everybody understood that every negative thing is an opportunity for transmutation. Every disaster is an opportunity for transition to a higher state of consciousness and for us to take as many people with us as possible. You know, the Gnostics believed that the Archons would come with messages of gloom and doom to take away the light of Sophia in our hearts. And now they're doing it. They're bringing all that negative bullshit into our lives just to scare the shit out of us and put us into the matrix so that we can sustain and be a part of the metaverse that's coming. We don't want, we can break out of that. We are, we are so, we're the lovers of Sophia. We are the tantrics. We are the philosophers. We can break out of that. We don't need to be trapped in that paradigm. So I ask you to vibrate with me. I'm clean soul, so clean am I. It's pouring down into you, the cosmic energy, into your, through your tongue, through your heart, to your yoni linga, and vibrates the whole pillar of your being. I'm clean soul, so clean mind. And the magical sounds we utter, every word we say has power. You want to go out in the world and speak negative shit? Do it and you will fuck up the whole world. I'm sorry for my language. But you want to create a beautiful world? Then speak the beauty. Speak the vibration that makes beauty. 
be a light in the world. And so when you look up into the grace in your third eye and open it up above you, the vibration starts to come into you. The goddess Lalita Tripura Sundari comes into you and she brings and seduces you towards positive action, towards doing good in the world, towards becoming a beacon of light. And that's not some esoteric mumbo jumbo spirituality bullshit. This is to be a true beacon of living light in the world. Exact. Can we turn off the audio of other people, please? That when we were exactly a hundred years ago, in April of 1920, April of 1920, for those of you who don't know, was the date that the Spanish flu pandemic ended. 150 million people died around the world. Just before that, World War I, 40 million people died in Europe in just war. Right? That was the most horrible period mankind had seen in history. And from 1920 to 1928, when we had the Roaring Twenties, not only did we have the Roaring Twenties, we had mystical revolutions of the highest order occurring. We had Manly P. Hall, we had Neville Goddard, we had um, Gurdjieff, Krishnamurti, Yogananda, all arrived in America and created energies that changed America for the next hundred years, right? Now, you're telling me that at the same time, the stock market was going crazy, Hitler was being born, all was happening at the same time. But what a world we created, philosophy, ideas, revolutions, Becoming your own guru became a thing, right? This was the time. So we get a chance now to vibrate a new frequency. And yes, excuse me, but the world is fucked up. It's okay. It's okay. As the Stoics would say, even if something falls on your head, it's still an opportunity. There's a wonderful Gnostic Persian story that says that Jesus and his disciples were walking through the streets and they saw a dead dog and all the, the disciples turned their faces and the smelling dead rotten flesh and Jesus looked at the head of the, the dog and smiled and he said why Lord why are you smiling he says he had such beautiful teeth this is how we must act in the world that we will see esoteric beauty in everything even in you know the fact is, while our friend is speaking of disasters and gloom, may, may, many people are making millions of dollars, billions of dollars. You know, I looked at the numbers. Pfizer stock went up 100% since they got the approval for their vaccination in November. Moderna went up 700%. That means that we have suddenly created a whole class of multi-billionaires around the world who invested in Moderna and Pfizer, right? So whenever chaos occurs, somebody benefits. That is the nature of the hermetic principle of rhythm, of polarity, of duality. And that's the tantric idea as well. So what a tantric has to do is to wake up in the middle and take control of the inner Sophia, their light. And if you can take control of your light through focus, through serious contemplation through understanding through vibration and particularly through vibration the words i say the mantras i speak then i can alter tomorrow so the question is not whether 2022 is what we are going to see happen the question is what are you going to be like in 2022 what kind of power are you going to generate what kind of light are you going to be what kind of investor are you going to be? What kind of healer are you going to be? Because guess what? 
the world has been fucked up for a long time. Excuse my language, Scott. You know, World War One and two, three, four hundred million people died. This time we only lost two million worldwide to COVID. We haven't had a war like that in 60 years. They keep longing for one, all these political crazies. You know, we haven't had one since the UN came into being. So maybe the UN wasn't such an evil empire after all, because it stopped the wars from happening. You know, so let us look at everything as esoteric explorers, as opportunities for enlightenment, as opportunities for vibration and better vibration. And this is my hope for 2022 or my message to you is vibrate better and don't worry about the world. It has always been a mess and it'll always be a mess. And we will try our best to vibrate better and better and better. No matter what the mess we're dealing with is, including China, including left and right, including whatever, who cares? They've always been there. You know, who cares? So vibrate, vibrate my friend. So what I want to do is, if you, is it okay if I end with the vibration sequence with oh, you? Absolutely, yeah. Definitely. All right. So I'm going to do a tantric vibration sequence that takes us from ignorance to enlightenment through nine steps of the Meru, the, the pyramid of the nine Meru, okay? And I want you to just vibrate with me. And if you can copy my hand movement, try and see if you can do it, okay? These are called mudras. Tantra is the practice of mantra, mudra, and yantra to activate inner powers and energies, all right? Especially Kundalini. So I'm going to show you a certain mantra, yantra right now. And when I deal with the world of delusion and ignorance and naivety in the world, I want to bring myself to a place where I control delusion in this earth plane. So what our friend was talking about earlier, this delusion of perpetual warfare, perpetual chaos, perpetual political strife. Yes, let's get rid of the delusion and part the veil to our higher consciousness. And the gesture is this one. And you say, Dram, dissolve me from this rubbish. Dram, Dram. And then let me realize my true inner desires to wake up. Then I go two fingers. Dream, dream, dream. But when I get to that desire, the agitation kicks in. I want to stay in the material world. I want to go to the spiritual world. No, I am in this agitation. So I bend my fingers and I take control of myself. Clean, clean. Clean, clean. And then I bring all the elements, the five elements together, and I wrap them up in my hands like this. And I bring grace and divinity into my being. Bloom, 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 bloom. Then I Cross my fingers. This one is a little harder, but you can try it. And it is, you, you cross your little fingers, you grab them with your middle finger and you hold the two together and you hold your little finger and you point it forward. And this says, bring the grace and magic into my life so I'm able to do this work with abundance around me. And this is Saha. Saha, Saha. And now let the divine graces protect me. So I bend my two fingers like this. And that stopped me from getting agitated and angry also. Chrome, chrome, chrome. And let me stay well and healthy and come prevent COVID and vibrations and illnesses from me and my family and those that I love and my society and remove illness from our minds. Ha, saka, frame. Ha, saka, frame. Ha, saka, frame. Now, let me come to the, the eighth gate. So I've gone through seven gates. I come to the eighth gate called the power gate. And I form a grid with my fingers. 
I put the middle finger up into form a steeple. I form a door like a church door, you know, the church thing. And I form it. And this is the three corner where I bring power into my being. So now I take divine power and I act in the world. Ha 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 And finally, I arrive at the ninth gate and the gate opens and I see the Divine Mother and I ask her to protect me in her womb. And I am a, a conduit for her grace through me into the world and let me act accordingly. And so I cross my fingers and I form the Yoni Mudra. This is the Yoni Mudra. And I say, I am, I am, I am. Kae ilarim, hasaka halarim, saka larim. Kae ilarim, hasaka halarim, saka larim. Kae ilarim, hasaka halarim, saka larim. And finally, I remove all negative energies from me, right? So I rub my fingers, I'm, then my index finger, clean. I rub my middle finger, so, so, ring finger, clean. I'm, then I go, I'm, third eye, clean, top of the head, bindu, so, and then, so cross my hands over my heart, clean, cover my third, three eyes, and then round my head, I slap it. And then I go, Bhur, Bhuva, Swaha, Om, all the directions protect me. And now I am protected. Iti Shevam. And to get rid of all the negative bullshit in the world, to get rid of all the negative crap you've just heard, to get rid of all, bring only positive energy to me. We say the magic mantra of Tantra is Hum Astraya Fat. Hum Astraya Fat. Hum Astraya Fat. Stamp your left leg three times. There. Blessings, everyone. <laughs> Roger, that's uh, yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Um, a lot of wisdom. What you said, um, and it's so you know, from you know, studying with you, um, I know that a tantra thrives off chaos and negative energy because what we do is we transmute it. Uh, you know, energy is energy, and uh, you know, someone who's worked. I, I work in a lot of chaotic environments, as you know. I work in a lot of conflict areas, as they call it. And uh, you're right. I mean, we 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 our our goal as spiritual practitioners is to transmute that into something more positive energy is energy um so everyone i i put roger's um uh internet site on it's a thousand sons academy in the uh, chat uh he's a, an awakened soul uh he awakened his kundalini and uh i'm, I'm waking up i don't know if i'm awakened i'm waking <laughs> well, up anyway you can tell he's I'm dragging he, all of you kicking and screaming with me <laughs> <laughs> but uh he um you know, he, he um, he's really recently moved back to the New York City area from India. We're really blessed to have him in the New York City area and uh, really highly yeah, recommend. I'm now a local. I'm now a local boy. So you can, <laughs> you can, you can meet up with me soon. <laughs> yeah. So we really, uh, you know, uh, honored to have you join us, Roger. No, so, blessings to everyone blessings. here. You know, the, yeah. the, the, it is the vibration we give that determines the world we create. So you all have to vibrate well. And then the world will become the reality you want it to become. That's how it works. You know? Yeah, beautiful. That's true. A lot of wisdom there. Well, thank you and Happy New Year. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Take care, Roger. Blessings. Namaha. <laughs>